why do cycling glasses always make you <laughs> look so goofy? So taking the advice of one of my readers, I have knocked 15 pounds off of my bike. Yes, I have. My bike weighs about 20 pounds. I didn't take the pounds off the bike exactly. I took the pounds off of me. So today is, I was kind of waiting for a significant moment to head out. Oh, the mosquitoes. And this would be it. So it's time to hit the road, start training again. Weather is gray but wonderful i mean it's december and it's 64 degrees i mean what could be what could be more awesome so i'm about to hit the road i have no idea what my speed's going to be i worked so hard july august september getting my speed up and getting up to that 17.4 mark i don't know what it's going to be today so i'm going to say i'm hoping for 15 maybe 16 and of course my secret number is always 17.4 We'll see if I'm able to hold that. Hoping for 20 miles today, but I might, I might go 15. We will see how it goes. I have on new foundation garment. Yay. I was kind of saving this treat for a significant moment. This would be a significant moment. And I'm going to get going because the mosquitoes are eating me. And I will let you know how it went when I get back. All right, so what do we have? Okay, sure, I hope for 17, but even though right here, it feels dead calm, and out on the river, it looks flat calm. I guess it was about a three knot wind against me, and I was running about 15 knots upwind. Well, I was running about 18 knots upwind, but because of the three knots against me, I was making 15, well, miles per hour. But I will have to say, after a break on the bike, it's so energizing to get back on. I'm eager to see how shaving 15 pounds off of me is going to help me with my speed and endurance and all of those things. It's the strangest thing. I mean, I've heard about people pulling their clothes out of the dryer and thinking that they've shrunk and and going, oh, that's the size I wear. I've even heard about people whose shoes were too loose after losing weight. I guess 15 isn't enough to make a huge difference, but strangely enough, my chin strap was a little bit too loose and I had to tighten that and that was the only difference I noticed there. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a little bit kind of hazy out. So I wore the brightest, brightest shirt I have from Pearl Zumi. Tried out, like I said, some new foundation garments and wore regular old Vanderkit shorts and socks, of course. Got the Angie on my helmet. There it is. Doo -doo -doo. So that would alert the person of my choice if I suffer a blow. Like if I fall or somebody hits me, that would alert somebody. Of course, I saw maybe two cars out today. Then I'm running Run Keeper to keep track of my numbers. And then also I have a Garmin right here. The Garmin also keeps track of my numbers, but I usually run them both just to just so that they're backed up so if one battery goes dead then the other one is still good so i will have to say it was a lovely day 63 and i yeah i'm sweating <laughs> i'll tell you my secret to shaving off the weight painlessly was i signed up for a subscription to noom and it's a total game changer it's it's not like a diet it's more like a lifestyle it's more more about the choices you make and how your attitude and how you look at all how you look at food what a huge difference it's yeah, it's not painful at all <laughs> anyway enough about that i I am going to head in, wash some dogs, yes, you guys, cut Bill's hair, and decorate the Christmas tree, and then get some turkey soup going, and that is my day. It's a little bit misty out, but it was nice seeing all the Christmas ornaments and all the, all the displays up. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one. Bye.